Hello everyone and welcome to More to Explore. I'm Miss Natasha and today we'll be making a pirate feather hat. So I'll show you all the details. Feathers, shell, jewels, gold, fabric, and then painting an emblem that you'd like on the back. Pirate one. Okay, in your kit you're going to find fabric, you're going to find tissue paper, you're going to find two big pieces of black construction paper, there will be gem stickers, a shell, feathers, a paintbrush, white paint. Now what's not in your kit but you'll still need and most people have at home is a cup of warm water, tissues, a stapler, tape, and a um, this is optional, but scissors if you want to trim anything like your fabric or feathers. That's just for design purposes. Okay, and let's get started. So the very first step is to take your massive pieces of black construction paper and you're going to tape it together. So you want them standing tall next to each other. Okay, so you'll be taping that long side right in the middle to each other to get a really, really, really long piece of tape. Put them nice next to each other, as close as you can. Once we've done that, we're going to fold it over so it looks like it's one piece. The next step, this is very important, is to see where it's connecting with the tape. So we're going to turn it so it's tall and we're going to fold it like so. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead, open it back up, and then we are going to take the part that has taped and close, and we're going to take a corner, remember that's the taped part, and we're going to bring it down to that center crease we just did. So go ahead and do that. And you're going to do it again, the other corner, remember the taped part, we want to take that and we want to bring it down to the center line and align that together. Okay, we are almost done. We're going to take this bottom part that's open and we're going to flip it up. Over, and we're going to flip that part up as well, align it to the other side, and fold it. And you have your paper hat! So now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate it. Alright friends, the first part is to paint. So I have chosen the classic Jolly Roger symbol, which is the classic pirate symbol, and that is the skull with the cross swords. Now you can do skull and crossbones, which means something that's generally deadly, or you can do exactly like this. So you can always pause on this video and then copy this design or Google a pirate image that you would prefer. But I'm going to use this design for mine. Okay, friends, go ahead, grab your white paint, your paintbrush, your warm water in a cup, and tissues, and go ahead and paint your skull and crossing swords or skull and crossbones. 
And then remember that I've given you a lot of paint in your kit, so you are welcome to go over it a couple times, add some details. Also, don't forget to clean your brush. That's why the water is there after you're done painting. It's very important so the paint does not crust on your paintbrush. That's why the water is there. All right, everyone, have fun painting. Okay, so here is my skull and cross swords. And I would definitely advise you to let this dry for a couple of hours. You want it completely dried. You don't want to take a chance because look, even if you smudge it just a little, your design will um, run or be smudged. So go ahead, let it completely dry. You know it's dry when it's not reflective and wet anymore. Go ahead and do that and then we'll flip it over later and we'll add all of our other decorations. Okay everyone, once your design is completely dry, we are going to flip it over and we are going to decorate. So remember this part's layered. We've got fabric, we've got tool, we've got tissue paper, feathers with jewel stickers and a shell. So everything is here. Go ahead and collect. Remember the tools we'll need, which is the tape, stapler, and possibly scissors. This one's off. Before I forget, anytime I mention you're using the stapler, you are putting the stapler's mouth inside of your hat and then stapling whatever it is on top inside and then you want the stapler to go beyond your black part. You want it to touch only your fabric or tissue paper, not this black construction paper. So remember, anytime we're stapling, we're going inside the hat and we're only stapling our items on, not this black part, okay? If you need a guardian to help you with that part, do so because it's very important. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the back layer, which is the fabric. So we are going to take our fabric and we are going to design it by putting it like so. So remember when your hat opens up, how do you want it? So I think I'm going to do it like a little fan, kind of like that, and I'm going to staple it in place how I want it. So I'm going to take my stapler and I'm going to put it all the way up. You don't want to staple this black part. You want your stapler to go over that onto the fabric. So onto the fabric itself and you're going to go ahead and staple the fabric to your hat. I would do this at least twice. So it looks like so. And you still want this to open up. That's why you want to staple it directly onto the fabric. Okay, and we're going to do that with our tool. So we'll take our tool and we're going to go ahead, kind of like fan it again, like we did with the other piece of fabric. Fan it out and we'll staple it again. 
Remember, over the black straight up into the tool. All right. So now we're going to put our tissue paper and we're gonna, I like to create a fan because it gives it some dimension. You can just staple it straight on, but by fanning it, it's pretty cool. So when you fan, you want to take like, I don't know, two centimeters, almost an inch. And then you want to go ahead and fold it like an accordion. So fold it, press down, fold it, flip it over. And then the harder you press, the better it is. Remember how you want it, and then go ahead and you can staple it in place. Um, if you want, you can also tape it in place. So now we're going to put our feathers in. So let me show you. So with the feathers, I have taped it. So we are going to tape the feathers. Have a piece ready of tape. Then we're gonna take our feathers and lay them how you'd like. Make an array. So I like the big ones all the way at the end and the little ones up front, but you can do whatever you'd like. And then you're gonna lay it on top of the gold and you're gonna put your tape all across at the bottom. So make sure all your feathers are in there. So that's what it'll look like. Okay. So why did I use tape instead of the stapler? Because what I'm gonna do with my shell is I'm gonna stick my shell right there with the tape and the feathers. So the tape actually holds the shell in place. A staple would not do that. So that's why you want to tape your feathers and your shell on. Okay, it looks like my feathers are hiding my shell, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my shell right up front. And if you need to reinforce it with tape, you can. But I think I want a longer piece, not a glue over the whole thing. Remember, you want it at the bottom so no one can see your tape. So your hat covers the tape, right? Very important. And then you also want to put your jewels on. So I'm gonna take my jewel. I have this one really big one. I wanna put it on my large green feather, just like that. And these are stickers, so there's a backing. You just have to peel off. With the little jewels, they're really easy. You just take one plastic sheet off the other, and the back looks like that. Like a hologram. Holographic? Yeah. Kind of rainbow. So this is the side that's sticky, the rainbow side, and you're going to go ahead and decorate the rest of your hat with these. 
Maybe you want some of these on your feathers, you can go ahead and do that. I think it looks really cool on the feathers, but uh, if you don't want it, you don't have to. And then you can put them wherever you want on your hat. done with our pirate hat. So we can put some on the other side as well. I like to create a pattern. But you don't have to, you can put whatever you want, wherever you want, right? So some there, and then of course some on my feathers, and then some on the bottom of the hat. And you are all done. So if you feel like you want more of this to show, you can always trim with your scissors about an inch off. So more of your centerpiece can show, if you'd like that. So trim off about an inch on each side but it's entirely up to you. I'm pretty happy with mine. So there you go. If you have more fabric at home, you have more stickers, you have more tissue paper, you have more feathers, you can always just keep layering that. All right, everyone. Have fun with your pirate hats. Did you know pirates did indeed dress in colorful garb and wore rich velvet waistcoats? and floppish big hats with feathers.